Hello, my name is Wayne Godso from the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This tech tip will cover the steps to enable CLI logging on the Avaya ERS-8800. By default, CLI logging is disabled on the ERS-8800. Enabling CLI logging allows you to track all CLI command activity on the system. When CLI logging is enabled, the system records all CLI commands executed on the system and stores them in the CLI log.txt file. The CLI log.txt file resides on the PCM CIA card. If your system has been accessed without your knowledge, it allows you to identify any system changes that have occurred via the CLI. CLI logging provides a means of capturing and archiving your system changes. In our tech tip example, we'll log into the system with read write all privileges using the RWA user account and RWA password. We'll enable CLI logging on the system using the CLI log enable true command. We'll configure the maximum size of the CLI log.txt file. In our example, we'll use the default, which is 256 K bytes. We'll view our new CLI log configuration settings using the CLI log info command. We'll verify the CLI log.txt file has been created successfully by viewing the contents of the PCM CIA file system. Next, we'll save our current configuration changes using the save config command. And finally, we'll view the CLI log.txt file to verify CLI logging has been enabled and the system is capturing all new CLI commands. In our example, we'll log into the console with the read write all user account and read write all password. Now we'll enable CLI logging on the system using the CLI log enable true command. Now we'll configure the maximum size of our file. In our example here we'll use the default which is 256 K bytes. Now we'll view our new CLI log configuration settings using the CLI log info command. From the output we can see that the CLI logging is enabled and the max file size has been set. Now let's verify the CLI log.txt file has been created successfully by viewing the contents of the PCM CIA file system with the dir command. We can see the newly created CLI log.txt file is now present on the PCM CIA card. Next we'll save our configuration changes with the save config command. Finally we'll view the CLI log.txt file to verify CLI logging has been enabled and the system is capturing all new CLI activity using the show CLI log command. From the output we can verify the system has been tracking our CLI commands from the point that we enabled CLI logging. It will show the command execution time, the source of the connection, in this case Telnet, the IP address associated with that connection, the user ID that executed the command, and finally, the exact CLI command that was executed. As you can see, enabling CLI logging on the Avaya ERS-8800 is a quick and easy process. For security purposes, it's good practice to enable CLI logging on all Avaya ERS-8800 systems. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.